Hey guys, today I have an inflatable review that I really didn't think I would be making to be honest. I wasn't planning on purchasing this inflatable at all, like it wasn't even on my radar screen, until I realized that I really needed to make an NBC cheap fan display to go with the base fan display, kind of as like a little side component. So I created the display in my head, I was like, okay, I gotta get the, gotta get the silhouette, gotta get the uh, zero on tombstone, and then I'm like, okay, I need one more inflatable because It'll be symmetrical if I have a 5 foot cheap fan NBC since I'll put zero on one side and then I could have this hypothetical inflatable on the other and then I found this one for $55 on your inflatables. I think it was actually 60 to begin with and then I checked back like a few days later and it went down to 55 so that was pretty cool. Um, 55 for this inflatable is honestly not good. Like that is not a good price to be paying for it. I definitely overpaid but I had to have this inflatable for my NBC display. 55 bucks for it I think is actually the cheapest that it's going for like period like I checked eBay couldn't find a cheaper one checked Amazon I checked Walmart I think Walmart had it maybe for the same price but like with yard inflatables you know you're gonna get really good shipping and yard inflatables is always trustworthy you know so that's kind of how I concluded how to buy this inflatable and when to buy it and the inflatable to buy itself you know I wasn't planning on purchasing it it comes in this obviously Typical white packaging, no NBC, you know, um, box art, which is definitely disappointing because the NBC box art, you can never get enough of that. Um, it says 2020 Jimmy Industries, but it's not a 2020 design. I don't know, at the, at the time of making this video or making this clip, I don't know what year this released, so I'll put it in the description because I want to have that correct for you guys in case you're curious. But I myself, right now, I don't know. But, um, yeah, nothing really too special about the box. I mean, you can kind of see it here. It's just damaged. It was shipped in this, so I should probably point that out. It was shipped like this, so that is kind of meh when you think about it. The inflatable is just directly inside. There's not, like, another piece of cardboard, but it's whatever. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Got my box cutter since I do have to cut it open like this. It's weird cutting a cheap fan open with the box cutter, you know? I mean, you expect this for a base fan, but definitely not a cheap fan. Gonna be very careful. Yeah, this is difficult doing it one-handed. Okay, that should, that should do it, we'll see. Another little card. Thing. That one last little piece. Probably do it from this end. That might be better. Okay. Hopefully that got it. Use my foot. There we go. Okay. Jeez. So I think you're trying to get into a safe or something. So here's the adapter. I'll go ahead and take it out. And then here's the steak pack. Here are the instructions. And now we'll go ahead and take it out of the box. Slowly but surely. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a hazard. <laughs> Alright, so here it is, here's the fan, trying to get the cord, make sure that does not fly away, and then I think the zipper is, yeah, the zipper's pretty much closed, so take this inside, test it out, and then I'll be right back. I tested him out, he works like a charm, like, really, really nice, actually better than the Zero on Tombstone, which I'm kind of ashamed to say, but let's go ahead and inflate it for the actual review. I really am ashamed to say it. Like, I feel bad that I like this one 
more than the Zero on Tombstone because the Zero on Tombstone was so much harder to find, so much harder to obtain than this one. I literally got this one with like two clicks and some dollar bills. I will say though that I think that the um, printing on the tombstone might be a little off-centered. It might not be because if you notice his foot goes a little bit this way, this one's a little bit more clear. So maybe that's supposed to be on purpose. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks great. It only has two LEDs, so that is a complaint, but that also goes actually well with the Zero, since that also only has two LED lights in it. But this one inflates like really tight. And it just looks good. Like, it's just a good inflatable. The jack looks amazing. It doesn't look, like, weird or anything. It doesn't look shrunken. It just looks really, really nice. It has two tether loops, so one here, one here, two tether loops on the top, I should say, and then it's got two on the bottom. I think I've pretty much covered all I need to for this inflatable, so let's go ahead on that note and switch to what it looks like at nighttime. So here's Jack at night, looks amazing. His head lights up so well. Like, when I get a little closer, it's more realistic, but still, even with the cameras, I guess, increase, like, you see when I back away from it, his head looks like, you know, you turned on a light bulb or something, but in real life, it actually is quite bright. It's not as bright as what you're seeing right now on the screen, but it is very bright. The tombstone lights up really well, I feel like the tombstones, I guess, um, brightness is probably the most realistic in terms of its relation to Jack and how it's lighting up. So it looks really good. I definitely recommend this inflatable. I don't know if I would pay $55 for a cheap fan like I did, but if you're willing to spend that kind of money, you are not going to be disappointed with the inflatable you have. You might be kind of kicking yourself for spending $55 for a cheap fan inflatable but still i mean what you're gonna get out of it is a wonderful design a high quality inflatable and some joy to give to other people who see it in your display so all in all you're not gonna be you're really not gonna be disappointed i'm trying to tool around okay there we go because i want to get the smile actually like focused and I'll back up a little bit so you can see what he looks like from the road. Okay. So right now I'm in the middle of the road. It's hard to see him. So I'll zoom in a little bit. See, you can't even see his mouth. My camera won't pick it up. So I apologize for that. But, yeah. If you enjoyed my review of this Jack on Tombstone, please consider giving the video a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye.